Okay, so we are back with the Bissell CleanView Swivel Pet Plus model 2252 upright vacuum. Sadly, this is like an Amazon box and there's really not much to show on this. Yeah, it's the same on every side. So uh, let's just open it up. This is one of Bissell's mid-range-ish models, costing about a hundred bucks. So it's not their cheapest, not their most expensive. Enough to get the job done without paying for stuff that's unnecessary is how I would describe it. All right, so enjoy 30% off. some cleaners or something. Warranty instructions, turbo tool, the, the turbo eraser pet, rubberized upholstery tool. We have this dusting brush, a little softer than on the previous Bissels, but I still wouldn't trust this with a TV. This weird looking triangly tool. Interesting, interesting. Okay, let's pull this up. Oh, there's a bracket. Right here, close. Oh, here's the vacuum tube. I have a screwdriver because I was almost certain that we were gonna need screws and yeah, I was right. There's screws taped to the handle right here. So we will deal with that in just a minute. We have the extension tube down here. Crevice tool, this thing, pretty usual tools and the machine itself is next. All right. Okay. Make sure that you all can see this correctly. Yes, you can. All right, so turn this around. Number one is attach the handle. So I'm going to off the screws, place the handle here, and the screws are taped to the handle. There's two of them. Right here. Don't know where my screwdriver went. It fell. It's right here. Cat wants something. Not this one, another one. No idea what. So you just screw these in until they're tight. That handles on. Now this bracket, I'm guessing, goes like this. Definitely not like that. Just like that. Hose. It's on right here. All right, it's time to be quiet. No idea. All right, so there's the cord. So the tools, the turbo tool can stick on the front of the tube like this. The tags can go there. And then the dusting brush. And there's the swivel. 
strangely enough there's nothing from to lock it from swiveling while it's upright oh it does swivel pretty easily three level height adjustment or no five level why did i say three really five level height adjustment let's undo this cord tight cord clip so the cord doesn't pop out during use all right nice wheels let's check out the bottom of the vacuum so it has their triple action brush roll and their scatter guard the scatter guard is this thing right here there's already a whole bunch of hair stuck to the bottom of the vacuum decently stiff see if there's a difference between the gray and the purple or sorry green and purple I don't really feel one but maybe squeegee wheels not non marring so if you have hard wood floors might not be the best uh, option the filters there's a permanent post motor filter in there and then your other filters are right here this is not a sealed HEPA vacuum, so if you have bad allergies, this is not the machine to get, but not everyone does, so, you know. So we have this very thick foam filter right here. Then we have this super, like this is a hard piece. This is not a flexible piece, see? It's a very thick felt material very very thick it's like a scouring pad anyways this goes back in the bottom like that and then we have the foam filter which goes in like this you want to have this little tab out so you can pull the filters out when you need to pretty large dirt bin here and the dirt opens up you can see we have a multi-cyclonic or actually it's a dual cyclone system see we have the bin and then this is our cyclone right here you look straight through here and you can see the cyclone down here and yeah it's pretty simple it's no Dyson but it works cat over there pretty simple pretty basic all right so let's lock that back in place and yeah so I will be back with the first test very soon this is overall seems like a pretty nice machine so we will be back very soon with the first test as I said so like, comment, subscribe, and we'll be right back with the first test video. Stay tuned, everyone.